With the rising number of photos being shot, more and more people are turning to AI image enhancers to make a photo look its best with very little effort. Unfortunately though, most of these tools either don't work well or require payment of an overpriced subscription or need to be uploaded to the cloud which compromises privacy and security. If you have these concerns but need a photo enhancer, then stick around as in this video, we're going to be demonstrating a photo enhancer with some powerful features yet processes locally and does not require a subscription. But does it work? That's what we're going to be finding out in today's video. The app we're going to be looking at is called Hitpo Photo P, formerly known as Hitpo Photo Enhancer. As you can see, it offers a choice of both a perpetual license and subscription. I of course prefer the perpetual license. Currently on sale, priced at $129, down from $229. And it works for both Mac and PC. So let's run through the standout features of PhotoP. Starting at number one, it's AI Enhancer with Face Model. To understand its performance, let's batch enhance a few portrait images and compare the before and after. I'll click on the AI Enhancer button. I'll add the photos. There, the photos have been added. As you can see, AI Enhancer provides nine models which allow for a variety of automatic enhancements. The most useful models in my view is face model, which we are testing now, and upscale. With regards to face model, clicking on it allows you to switch between three modes. However, for this test, I'll stick with the default name soft. As you can see, soft mode is used to perform face sharpening and repairing of blurred faces. Next, let's process one image to see how it looks. As you can see, the results look good. Not only was the skin complexion tastefully smoothened, sharpening has also been applied subtly to the eyes and other facial features, noticeably improving overall quality. With this adjustment looking good, let's apply the same adjustment to the rest of the images. To do that, I'll click Apply Current Settings to All button. Next, I'll click Export. There, the export has begun. By the way, do note that as the photos are being exported, I want to confirm I've already disabled the internet connection to show that PhotoP does indeed do all its processing locally and no photos are uploaded onto a third-party server. There, the processing is done. Let's look at the results. As you can see, the results are pretty good. As in the previous example, skin complexion has been nicely cleared up and key features have been intelligently sharpened, all in one click. In the case where you prefer stronger face sharpening, the face model also allows you to switch to a sharp mode, which works similarly to soft mode, except that it processes in a more sharpened style. As you can see, in this case, it makes the image pop. Sharp mode in conjunction with upscale mode also works great for extremely low resolution faces. In this example, I'm upscaling a paltry 200 by 153 or 0 0.3 megapixel image to a 4000 by 3000 or 12 megapixel photo. As you can see, the difference is night and day. So that was the first standout feature, AI enhancement with the face model. Let's move on to the second standout feature. The second standout feature is AI enhancement with the Colorize model. Colorize model is super useful for enhancing old or black and white photos or any photo with a bad color cast. To demonstrate, let's colorize this black and white photo. I'll enable Colorize. I'll click Preview. And just like that, a pretty nice result. By the way, do note that I've stacked the colorized model with the face and upscale model. Therefore, as I zoom into the image, you can see that in addition to the colorization process, the image has also received a sharpness boost 
thanks to the phase and upscale model being applied. One great thing about colorized model is it also works great for fixing extreme color casts, as you can see here. The third standout feature is background arrays. In case you need to remove the background for a boatload of photos and don't want to do cumbersome manual editing, PhotoRP provides this service as well. To demonstrate, I'll click background remover. I'll add in the photos. I'll click remove. And just like that, the photos are processed. A super easy workflow. Do note though that unlike AI Enhancer, which worked locally, Background Remover did require that I enable the internet connection. There, the enhancements are done. As you can see, the results are excellent. Background Remover can smartly handle even the most difficult hair and fur with largely error-free results, except for the most difficult cases. The fourth standout feature is ID creation. One nice feature of PhotoRP's background removal is it uniquely has the ability to create a photo ID. To demonstrate, let's create an ID photo for this lady's passport application. I'll set the background to white. I'll enable Create ID Photo. I'll select the ID preferences. And there you have it. The ID is created, ready for her next application. The fifth useful feature is AI Generator. If the above features are not enough, PhotoRP also includes a built-in text-to-image AI Generator. As you can see, it works pretty well, able to generate four images at a time with no need to log in or navigate to a separate website. So there you have it. That's five standout features of HitPo PhotoRP. While I haven't covered every single feature, I didn't cover its powerful text model to upscale and enhance low quality text, nor its anime model to upscale low resolution anime, and many more. With just these five, you can already see there's a lot to like about this app. When you combine its performance, multitude of features, coupled with its perpetual license pricing and local processing capabilities, there is tremendous value in PhotoRP, so do check them out. All the links will be in the description. So I hope you found this video helpful. It's always nice to learn about new apps which give genuine alternative to consumers and let me know what you think of it. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.